There's an assumption that when you contract your pelvic floor, that everybody should get symmetrical activation of left and right TA. Several studies have shown that in healthy, normal, continent people, when you contract your pelvic floor muscles, you get a response, a, a gentle response, left and right TA. My clinical experience is you don't get that when there's twists between, when there's a rotation between the thorax and the pelvis. You get an asymmetric response. And I wonder if asymmetry is, is normal in that situation. So her name is Asami. She's laying there now. She's still twisted. I sink my thumbs into the abdominal wall to the level of transversus. I ask her to contract her pelvic floor. And what I feel is an asymmetric activation response. One side of her, her transversus is working. The other side is doing nothing. So what is the impact of this recruitment strategy on movement of the sacroiliac joint? A 10 to 15% contraction of the deep muscle system should control all movement in the sacroiliac joint. So I feel the neutral zone motion of the sacroiliac joint. I ask her to gently connect her pelvic floor. All movement should be controlled, and it isn't, right? There is still movement of that SI joint. So is this an articular instability, or is this just a fact of motor control? I get her to correct her own thoracic ring, and what I feel happen as she does that is her back muscles relax a bit, the iliocostalis relaxes, and now when I recheck the activation pattern, same cue, contract your pelvic floor, I get a lovely, beautiful, symmetric contraction of transversus, and all movement of the neutral zone of the SI joint is controlled. So the strategy, the recruitment strategy for abdominal wall changes when I change the position of the sixth thoracic ring. And it's not rocket science. The, low, the, the nerves from the low thorax supply the abdominal wall. The nerve supply to the abdominal wall comes from the low thorax. So it makes sense you can change neural drive to the abdominal wall by taking twists out of the thorax. Okay? So correction of her ring restores symmetric activation with the pelvic floor cue. So if we think that this is important for force closure and controlling movement in the, of the sacroiliac joint, then I really need to go after what is it that's causing this twist in her thorax. So when should we be training deeper muscles of the trunk, transversus, pelvic floor, deep fibers of multifidus in your diaphragm? When should they be assessed and trained individually? There are a group of individuals with lumbopelvic pain who do not need to train, um, do specific isolated training. In this group, the recruitment strategy automatically normalizes when you take the twist out of the system. And this explains why in the 70s and 80s, our back pain patients were getting better with manual therapy techniques, with general postural exercises. We weren't doing specific isolation training then, and a number of our back pain patients were getting better. So the management of this group, you release whatever it is that's causing the twists, and they will do fine. And they typically do well with many, many movement-based prog programs, whether it's yoga, Pilates, things that basically lengthen and align the system. They do quite well with it.